Welcome to a thrilling odyssey through the cosmos, where we decipher the enigmatic aspects of cosmic civilizations and delve into their six significant stages of evolution. In the infinite canvas of the universe, with an astounding estimate of two trillion galaxies, each a bustling hub of hundreds of billions of stars, our universe serves as a grand stage. These galaxies, each playing host to a multitude of planets, in their orbits present a possibility of a number potentially habitable. The immense scale and age of our universe, spanning approximately 93 billion light-years in diameter, and aged nearly 13.8 billion years, alludes to the exhilarating possibility that we may not be alone in this vast expanse. Before we delve into the discussions of alien civilizations, let's lay down the foundational concept of cosmic civilizations. This term is not just a figment of imagination. It's a concrete theoretical framework that allows us to classify civilizations based on their energy consumption, technological prowess, and the magnitude of their operations. This concept of classification anchors on the Kardashev scale, an idea proposed by the Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev in 1964. The Kardashev scale revolutionized our perspective towards civilizations, using energy consumption levels as a yardstick for technological advancement. At its inception, it outlined three fundamental levels, though for our discussion, we'll broaden it to six. These tiers range from harnessing the energy of a planet, escalating to a star, a galaxy, and ultimately the entire universe. Each step signifies a monumental leap in technological sophistication and energy utilization. However, this scale isn't all about sheer power. It's about civilization's potential to reshape their surroundings, to surpass their origins, and to accomplish engineering and scientific milestones beyond our wildest imaginations. But the Kardashev scale isn't the only concept that has taken center stage in the discussions about extraterrestrial life. The Drake Equation and the Fermi Paradox too have been instrumental. The Drake Equation, proposed by Frank Drake in 1961, is a probabilistic argument to estimate the number of active, communicable extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way. On the other hand, the paradox, named after physicist Enrico Fermi, puts forth the contradiction between the high probability of alien life and the lack of contact or evidence for such civilizations. Similarly, astrobiology, the study of the origin, evolution and distribution of life in the universe, is another fascinating field. It searches for signs of life beyond Earth, examining the possibility of habitable environments within our solar system and beyond. This scientific field combines elements of biology, astronomy, physical sciences, and planetary science, all in the pursuit of understanding the complexity and diversity of, in the cosmos. Now with a comprehensive understanding of the backdrop, we embark on our exciting journey into the intriguing depths of cosmic civilizations, kick-starting with stage one. Let's delve deeper into the current state of our energy resources, here in stage one, the planetary civilization, our current dwelling in the cosmic expanse. Earth, our home, is a treasure trove of energy resources that we are still learning to fully exploit. We have the potential to harness every beam of sunlight that kisses our atmosphere, every whispering gust of wind that traverses our landscapes, and every single drop of water carving out its path on our planet for power generation. But let's not get carried away. Our energy sources, as vast as they seem, are not without limitations. Conventional resources such as coal, oil and natural gas are finite and their continual use contributes to environmental degradation. Renewable energy resources like wind, solar and hydropower have their own challenges too, with issues related to efficiency, storage and geographical constraints often hindering their full potential. That said, the world of future energy technologies holds immense promise. From more efficient solar cells and wind turbines to potential game changers like fusion power, humanity has a plethora of options to explore. And it's not just about generating energy, but also how we use and distribute it. That's where the concept of a global energy grid comes into the picture. Imagine a world where power is shared seamlessly across continents, making energy scarcity a thing of the past. However, Implementing a global energy grid is a monumental task fraught with challenges. Differing national energy policies, infrastructural limitations, and large-scale storage and distribution issues 
are just the tip of the iceberg. Now, remembering the Kardashev scale, a measure of a civilization's technological progression according to its energy utilization, we find ourselves at a humble type 0.7 civilization, but the room for growth is immense. By innovating and pushing the boundaries of our technological capacities, we can ascend this scale and achieve greater heights of energy consumption and usage. As we yearn for more, we keep our gaze fixed on the stars, welcoming us to the next stage. Imagine a civilization so technologically advanced that it harnesses the energy of its entire star. Welcome to stage two. Now visualize this civilization erecting gargantuan structures around its sun. These theoretical structures are known as Dyson structures, named in honor of physicist Freeman Dyson, who first proposed the idea in 1960. Our own sun, an ordinary star, emits a staggering 384.6 yottawatts of energy. That's a number with 26 zeros. Now envision a society so it can capture and utilize this incomprehensible amount of energy. The implications are simply staggering, aren't they? But what exactly are Dyson structures? They come in two main types, the Dyson Swarm and the Dyson Sphere. The Dyson Swarm consists of a large number of independent constructs orbiting in a dense formation around the star, while the Dyson Sphere is a colossal shell completely enclosing a star, which is often depicted in science fiction. Constructing such a fantastical structure requires a concept named stellar engineering. Stellar engineering includes creating a swarm of solar collectors orbiting the star, absorbing its energy. These solar collectors would need to be constructed from a material capable of withstanding the intense heat of the star to ensure durability and longevity. Advanced robotics and nanotechnology could play a pivotal role in manufacturing and maintaining this vast fleet of energy collectors. This energy-absorbing swarm would form a shell the star, creating a Dyson Sphere. Unlike the Dyson Swarm, the sphere is a continuous rigid shell, requiring a material of unparalleled strength and heat resistance, a technology far beyond our current capabilities. One might ask, what's the purpose of harnessing all this energy? The uses are as vast as the cosmos itself. This colossal energy could fuel interstellar travel, power advanced weaponry, run artificial intelligence systems and even create immersive virtual realities for the entire population. Diving deeper, the energy could also be utilized for projects of cosmic proportions such as terraforming planets, making uninhabitable worlds livable by modifying their atmosphere, temperature and ecology. It could even theoretically power devices designed to manipulate the fabric of time itself, potentially enabling time travel. The possibilities are as boundless as the energy harnessed. From a single star to the grandeur of a galaxy, we move to stage three. As we gaze upon the stars and marvel at their brilliance, we are also looking at potential powerhouses for civilizations far more advanced than ours. Harnessing the energy of an entire star is a feat of cosmic proportions, a testament to the power of progress and the thirst for knowledge. Embark on a journey through the intricate fabric of the galaxies, the celestial architects of energy on a galactic scale. At the heart of these colossal structures lie potential sources of power that may extend beyond our comprehension. Stars, black holes and the enigma that is dark matter. Picture the technological prowess and level of progression necessary to exploit the energy of billions of stars scattered like cosmic jewels across the expanse. Now, let's delve deeper into the structure of a galaxy, like our own Milky Way. It is a bustling metropolis of approximately 200 billion stars, each of which serves as a nuclear furnace disseminating energy across the cosmic arena. Imagine a civilization advanced enough to capture and exploit every iota of that radiant energy. It's breathtaking, isn't it? But the energy capacity of a galaxy isn't confined to its stellar population. Consider the enigmatic black holes, cosmic phenomena that distort the fabric of space and time. At the core of our galaxy lies Sagittarius A asterisk, a supermassive black hole with an estimated mass four million times that of our sun. The energy reservoir encapsulated within that is immense. Harnessing this power could indeed be a pivotal turning point for any civilization that reaches such a stage. Yet another unexplored frontier is dark matter, a mysterious and unseen form of matter that is theorized to make up about 85% of the universe. While we have yet to fully grasp its nature, the possibilities of it being an energy source are intriguing. Moreover, let's not forget wormholes, hypothetical structures of space-time thought to serve as shortcuts across the universe. 
The concept of advanced civilizations using wormholes for intergalactic travel adds another layer of intrigue to our cosmic quest. In reality, all of these concepts remain largely theoretical. We have yet to unearth any evidence of advanced galactic civilizations or verify our theories about wormholes and dark matter. Regardless, the mere potential of their existence and the notion of achieving such a level of cosmic mastery continue to fuel our curiosity, driving us to delve deeper. From the exploration of individual galaxies, we now venture into the domain of galaxy clusters. Welcome to Stage 4. As we climb higher up the scale of progress, we come across civilizations that have harnessed the very power of the universe. These cosmic civilizations, the zenith of cosmic evolution, are not bound by a single universe or dimension. Instead, they are theorized to manipulate energy on an unprecedented scale, exploiting the energy contained within the observable universe and potentially even further. Our observable universe, bubble of space-time roughly 93 billion light-years across, is estimated to hold approximately 100 billion galaxies. Each of these galaxies is home to approximately 100 billion stars. The sheer magnitude of energy contained within this cosmic arena is mind-boggling. The total energy of our observable universe is estimated to be around 4x10 circumflex 69 joules. However, the observable universe also contains a mysterious entity known as dark energy, which is believed to constitute about 68% of the total energy in the universe. Dark energy, a term used for an unknown form of energy, is hypothesized to permeate all of space, causing the acceleration in the expansion of the universe. Think of the potential of a civilization that could tap into even a fraction of this energy. To understand this potential, we need to explore the concept of multiverse theory in depth. A multiverse, as suggested by cosmologists, is a theoretical collection of multiple universes, including our own. These universes combined encompass everything that exists. The totality of space, time, matter, energy, information, and the physical laws and constants that describe them. A civilization at this advanced level could potentially traverse different universes, tapping into the energy of various cosmic arenas. This introduces the fascinating implication of the existence of parallel universes. The possibility of a multitude of universes, each with their own set of physical laws and constants, challenges our understanding of reality. It suggests that our universe may just be one among an infinite number of universes, each possibly hosting their own unique civilizations. However, such civilizations exist only in theoretical discussions. We are still endeavoring to comprehend the basic principles of our own universe, let alone the potential of multitudes of others. But through these grand notions we gain a profound appreciation for the immensity of our cosmos and our position within it. These of civilization currently mere hypotheses invite us to ponder the boundless possibilities that our universe, or perhaps multiverse, holds. In this vast cosmic ballet, what role will humanity play? As we traverse the chapters of civilization, from planetary to stellar, from galactic to universal, we find ourselves on the precipice of an intriguing junction. Our potential evolution is staggering, yet the scientific conundrums we face are equally complex. We have the potential to tap into the might of a planet, to command the energy of a star, to utilize the bounty of a galaxy, and ultimately, to unravel the enigmas of the universe. Yet, there are even more advanced stages we can envision, such as the post-biological civilization, where we transcend our organic bodies and achieve potential immortality through advanced technology. What would such a civilization look like? What would it imply about the meaning of life and the nature of consciousness? From the planetary to the post-biological, each epoch of civilization opens a new frontier of exploration and contemplation. As we look up to thee, we are left to ponder. How far can we evolve? And what existential truths will we unearth in the process? Only time will unravel this cosmic mystery.